It's not actually short-term memory, but short-term dwelling. I'm Jay Cleveland Payne, and this is Steps to Your Better You. The commercial they had a few years back coming for a shoe company that had a take on basketball players having short-term memories, or essentially sports figures in general, as basketball players with the stars, where many famous people were talking about things in sort of a weird view where uh, it wasn't really true. Tracy McGrady referenced himself as a rookie after playing overseas for one year when he played in the league, the NBA, for at least a dozen beforehand. And, of course, the big line from Scottie Pippen, who, of course, declared himself the greatest bull of all time because the greatest bull of all time left him the team. While this commercial was made for effect and sold a lot of shoes, there is a point behind this in the short-term memory. Athletes and people who do high achieve things do have a short-term memory where they don't live and dwell in a past failure. But they don't just forget about it. They actually concede to it, apologize to whoever they did wrong, and move on. So if you're in a situation where you've done someone wrong or done something wrong and need to move on from it to get to a better place, apologize. Apologize quickly. Say that you're sorry and move on. And don't go back to that situation. There's no such thing as forgive and forget because if you forget, you don't know why you have to forgive in the first place and you're doomed to do the same thing over again. The real problem comes from forgive and dwell. Find out more about how I can help you become your better you with tips for improved living that are quick to digest and simple to implement at the website yourbetteryou.info.